Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, just going to rattle through this video today. It's Ascension Part 2 um, of my previous video. So today I'm going to be taking you through the Tangled, um, the Tangled nodes. These are effectively, it's the Sen6, the Big Hero 6, you know, all the all the difficult nodes that were um, that were previously having to use TSV for. They're still quite difficult really because uh, Tangled, other than Rapunzel, um, aren't very like Flynn and Maximus aren't aren't great characters. So it's still it's still proved a little bit difficult, and I've had some questions on how to beat this. So I'm going to show you today how to beat all of their nodes. Um, so let's just switch the footage. Okay. So the team I'm using here. Is well, I'm gonna vary the teams a little bit, but it's it's Elsa, Poker, um, Kristoff, Maximus. I'm not gonna use Matt, I'm not gonna use Flynn, and then either uh, and then Elsa and either Merida or, or Poker. Um, some of the some of the nodes actually I think are uh, require a bit more offense, which is why I use Merida, and then others require a bit more survivability, which is why I would use um, Poker. So um, this first, this first one against Big Hero Six, um, I'm going to use Poker, um, and I'm going to use the spells Mufasa, Spirit, and Duke Kaboom. Effectively, this is this is proved quite difficult for some people, but the aim here really is just to to Elsa bomb. Um, what you're going to do with with Poker is is pass her the offense up. You're also going to pass the guaranteed crit from Kristoff, and um, Rapunzel's going to be there to, to, you know, stun in the beginning. She stuns Ben Max great. Um, she grabs Fred or Hero, that's great as well. Um, and then, effectively, you're going to use her to heal. Uh, the Mufasa spell is just going to give her a little bit more offense to Elsa when she does finally do the, do the bomb. I took in Duke here. You, don't, you probably don't really need Duke because you're obviously going to have a guaranteed crit from Kristoff already. And there you go. It's just an Elsa bomb. It, it's fairly straightforward. Um, just a couple of restarts until you get until you can line everything up. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this next one is going to use Merida instead of Pocahontas. And you're going to use... Well, I use Cauldron here. Um, rather than Duke, it, it didn't really matter too much. I just kind of wanted to charge the um, the abilities more. You're gonna stun Bell with Rapunzel here, and then really you're just gonna aim to get Beast out ASAP because he's your damage dealer. So as you can see, I focus the damage on him with Merida, with Elsa. Um, you're gonna use the Whirlwind first. Give her some buffs, so she's going to hit harder with Kristoff. Remember, you've got uh, you've got great healing here from Rapunzel. Make use of it, and effectively, I'm going to try do another Elsa bomb um, with Kristoff here, given the guaranteed crit. It doesn't obviously wipe them out, um, but I've still got Mufasa Spirit. And as you can see, because I hadn't charged the spell, I wasn't able to use it with Elsa. But the beauty of having another damage dealer, and the reason I like a, a, another damage dealer in, in this particular node is purely because of Beast. Um, you can pass it to, to Merida instead. So I'm pretty sure this can be done with po um, Pocahontas as well. It's just I chose to do it with Merida this time. That one's definitely an easy... An easier one. Okay. Now moving on. The next hard one is is going to be Sen Six. So I actually switch back to Pocahontas here, and I use Slumber uh, with Duke. Sort of similar to um, you know what you use in a in Ascension 1 really because I, I, I feel like Slumber and Duke are, are the main are your best two spells just for control and 
getting that damage output. So uh, as you can see, I stunned Goofy because he had the highest turn meter. I then used Whirlwind on Mickey to stop him from calling all those assists, which do quite a lot of damage. Um, it's not the the safest of battle, I'd say, because you know Donald has got to uh, has effectively got his taunt up and all his nasty um, nasty buffs that go with it. So we're trying to figure out how to kind of get around that. And effectively here, I'm just going to do another Elsa bomb. It's a bit of a risky strategy, but it's going to wipe the board. Um, and you know you're going to see Mickey set off, but fortunately I survived this. The reason this is, this is the reason you've been poker because now you've got two sources of heal and much spells have charged as well so putting the slow on him with slumber uh putting the slow on donald with slumber and then you know i've already got um two vulnerables on him uh if i had used um if i'd used rapunzel's basic she would have stunned him but i kind of just waited for elsa because elsa would just finish this one off so Looks easier than it is, it's definitely quite a difficult mission, but same premise here. It's really for these Tangle missions you just kind of want to be Elsa, uh, using Elsa and, and doing the Elsa bomb as much as you can. And then last but not least we have the Mythicals which has both Hercules and Hades. Um, and I have used a different spell this time, Heather's Horseman with Merida. I feel like you kind of just want to prevent um, Hades and Hercules and Pain and Panic using their specials here because the specials do big, big damage. So, uh, so that's why I brought in Headless Horseman. Um, highest turn meter it was Hades, which is, I guess, kind of what I wanted because I wanted to stun him anyway. Uh, you can see he he's being controlled now. Fortunate there that Pain and Panic didn't stasis and then you can use a whirlwind on Hercules to stop him from you know, doing that massive special that he's got remember um, Rapunzel's here to help you out you you want to use her healing to kind of re revert those buffs you need to be careful when you use that move um, because sometimes it won't heal at all if you uh, it's, it's basically healing her um, since the last move she took it's healing everyone back to their previous health before she took that move if that makes sense that was a terrible way of explaining it but hopefully that makes sense right now i'm gonna reduce turn meter and slumber meg i'm then gonna use horseman on the back line and uh, merida has splash damage with the arrows which is going to take out hades then you really just need to focus hercules here um I think there's a glitch by the way, I think Pain and Panic are dead, um, and it, they're just showing, it's just kind of bizarre, but the aim here is to, you know, I've got that guard out which is important, I've got the vulnerable out, and now if you um, hit Hercules with um, with Rapunzel's basic, she's going to stun him like she just did there, so that's a good way of, of controlling, that's why Duke is quite good in these in these fights as well. Um, you know, it, it kind of looks a little bit ugly, but it's it's not really in doubt. Elsa's about to go empowered, and she's gonna she's gonna hit everyone. And you know, second turn with with Rapunzel using her her hair to stun, and and that's it really. Um, as I said, Pain and Panic are, are glitching out here. I don't really know what's going on, but they they are dead. And it's just about um, getting Meg. For some reason, the, the packs kind of was messing up my blue stacks, but um, there we go. Right, and that's that's the strategy on on these ascension nodes. And I'm just going to switch back to my face now. Okay, so so there you have it. That's the general strategy. It's mostly Elsa bombs um, using Kristoff and using um, either Mufasa, Mufasa Spirit, or um, Pocahontas. She gives offense up. 
and then it's just exploding with her for mo for the most part. Um, so yeah, not not too much to it. I I have you know I do have G8s here. My Elsa is G8. My Pocahontas and my Merida are also G8. But I'm using a Maximus without a stone. You know a G7. And Kristoff is also just G7, so you can kind of budget your way through it to an extent. Um, but, you know, I would say focus on getting Elsa up. Elsa is going to be your, your big damage dealer here. Um, as ever, guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Um, put a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And I hope this has helped you all uh, and I will see you in the next video.